Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is presented by Bell Tire. As the weather has warmed in May, so has the bat of Nick Castellanos, the Tigers right fielder batting 385 in the month of May. Another big night last night for Nicholas. Three hits for the Tigers in game one in the series. Another warm night for baseball as we welcome into Globe Life Park. We're in Arlington, Texas tonight. It is game two in the series featuring the Tigers and the Texas Rangers. Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Tigers Baseball. Mario and Pemba alongside Kirk Gibson. Glad to have you with us for game two in the series. Nick Castellanos, he just keeps raking for the Tigers. He really does. He's become a team leader. Outfield's still work in progress, but I think playing right field is a big step up for him over third base last year. But everything he hits is just coming off the bat very, very hot. He hits everything like effortless. Doesn't matter what pitch they throw. He throws it up in the zone, down in the zone. Nick just rakes it. He's a very, very advanced hitter. He's turned into a very, very good team leader. And after that game last night, they need that. All right, now the Tigers certainly have played a couple of bumpy games here recently, Gibby, especially last night. They get to the ballpark today. Leonis Martin now having an MRI on his knee. So as a player, as a manager, how do you get through stretches like this? Yeah, when it rains, it pours. And Mickey's out. That was a huge blow. Now you got Martin out, who's been your leadoff hitter. You know, what do you do? I mean, as a team, you, you have to suck it up. Last night, you had a very poor game. After a previous poor game, right here, John Hicks at first base again, does a good play by holding it, then doesn't remember that the Shields is on third, and he goes ahead and scores. They feel he should have had that, and Dixon Machado on a big play right here. This was the go-ahead run. Snuck underneath right there. Nick Cassianos comes up. The only guy we kept him under the camera on him, and he's the only guy that came up and Guardy the whole time, cool as a cucumber. I was sitting here watching, what's a guy gonna do? He's gotta lift his team up. You know, you're thinking, do I wanna yell at these guys? Well, I'm way today, what do I wanna do? He did have a meeting today with all the infielders and uh, Jose Iglesias. Iglesias had said something in the in the paper. He didn't feel that was appropriate. And he, Gardy's, he's, he handles everything, but he's got a cool veteranship as a manager and is really important for this team. So he's just to say, hey, let's clean it up. Let's get back on track. We played a couple of good games in Kansas City. And let's get back to that way. All right, Tigers trying to even up the series here tonight. Tiger baseball coming up, but right now we go back to the Call Sam Studios and John Keating.
Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by Comerica Bank. Raise your expectations of what a bank can be. Come to Comerica and by Dodge. Visit Dodge.com or your local dealer today. Back here in Arlington, Texas, we are at Globe Light Park. Fans still filing in for this one game, two in this three-game series featuring the Tigers and the Rangers. Here is the starting lineup for the Tigers tonight. Presented by the Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. And as we told you at the top, some extra injuries for the Tigers. So Jacoby Jones will lead off. He'll play in center field, followed by Jamer Candelario and Nick Castellanos. Vimar batting cleanup. Hicks is at first again tonight. McCann will catch. Your bottom three features Goodrum, Iglesias, and Dixon Machado, and they are facing the left-hander. Mike Miner is on the hill tonight, presented by Jeff Glover and Associates Realtors. Mike Miner, we faced him, I think, back when he was with Atlanta, now here in Texas, seventh start of the season. He's 3-1 and one on the year. Has gone 0-1 against the Tigers in seven games. Only one game started. Let's take a look at the Rangers' starting defense. Left field, you got Gallo, DeShields, and Mazzara. On the infield, Adrian Beltre, the Tiger killer back at third base. Profar. The Lafifa is at uh, second base. Ronald Guzman at first. Mike Miners throwing to Carlos Perez. Belifa. So, Cardi hoping that uh, the news on Mr. Leonis Martin turns out to be good here today. He's having an MRI. Hopefully today, if not tomorrow, but uh, the Tigers certainly shorthanded offensively with Miggy already on the DL. And now Jacoby Jones has been elevated to the leadoff slide in this game tonight. Jacoby out in center field. Jones, Condelario, and Castellanos. And we are ready for baseball in Arlington. Mike Miner brings home the first pitch of tonight's ball game. A strike called on Jones. Jacoby, two out of five in the ball game last night, couple of doubles. And the average had 247. Drives this one high in the air to left center field. It's going to be playable. And the Shields camps under it for out number one. By the way, if the Tigers combine for three or more home runs in this game, simply bring a copy of the Tiger box to a participating Arby's location tomorrow and you get yourself a free small order of curly fries. Here is Candelario. Jamer last night was one for four batting a solid 280. And he'll look at strike one in the inside part of the plate. Candy also has been battling some nagging injuries the uh, thumb that he jammed a couple of days ago. He'll fly this one in the air to left center field. This time, the shield's going back. It's carrying, and it's gone out of here. Condelario with a solo shot here in the first. And that ball just carried. I was going to say that first ball didn't carry, but uh, the second certainly did. Number five for Jamer. He's a gamer. Yes, he is. That's your pick, right? You're off to an early start. Off to a good start tonight. Candy uh, put some smiles on the Tigers' faces. 15th RBI as well. Could pick me up. Castellano shoots one of the shortstop diving play. Profar can't complete it, though. It'll be an infield hit for Nicholas. This was almost an outstanding play. Profar goes hard to his right, dives. You can't get it out cleanly. If you have a play like that, you have to, to do or die. You have to try and flip it into your hand almost because you know you're deep in the hole, unable to get it on track. And Nick's on with a one out single. Tigers had 13 hits in last night's game. They've got two already after three batters. Now, Victor Martinez. Ball one to V Mark. Unable to shift Victor with uh, casting at first base. They'd normally have him over here. Fouled off at home. One ball and one strike. 
Miner, 30 years of age, born in Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Signed a three year contract in December and was working out of the Royals bullpen last year. Made a lot of appearances for Ned Yost out of their bullpen. Victor hammers one down the left field line. That ball is hooking and it is going to stay fair. It is gone a home run. Victor Martinez a two run shot and the Tigers have jumped all over Mike Miner. Good meeting. Number three for V -Mart. Looks like the wind's blowing in, but uh, that's not the case. Two home runs already. With very aggressive swings. One from Candyman. Now this one from Victor. That'll bring up John Hicks. Strike call, top part of the strike zone. That ball lifted the shallow right field and it's going to be caught by the second baseman Connor Falefa. All fly balls so far. Two outs, two dingers. So Martinez with his third home run, all of them, or the first one I should say, being hit uh, from the right side of the plate. The other two were left handed. Here is McCann who last night was one for five and extended his hitting streak to six straight in his last at bat of the night. And James looks at a strike on one. Looking at the velocity from minor only around 85 miles an hour I think those are fastballs so he's been out but for two seasons this is his first year back. There's 193. Used to throw a little firmer. It's climbed his way through several surgeries over two years. It's not fun. Yeah, most notably a labrum surgery in his left shoulder. One and two now on McCann. The Rangers, in terms of team pitching this year, ERA of 496, which is 13th out of 15 American League teams. That ball hammered to left field on a line. Gallo moving over, reaching to make the catch. So the Tigers jump on minor early. Jamer, solo shot to get it going. And then Victor Martinez, a two run homer. 3 0 Tigers. as they lead 3-0 in fires tonight. 
Presented by Family Heating, Cooling, and Electrical. That's Mike's sixth start of the year. Five innings, gave up six hits and five runs. Five earned runs as well. Here is the lineup for the Rangers presented by the Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. It'll be the Shields, Chu, and Mazzara in the top three spots. Beltre back in the lineup, activated today, playing third base. Then Galloway, Profar, Connor, Falefa, Guzman, and Perez. The bottom three for the Rangers. And Mike Fires now trying to hold on to a 3 0 lead early in this one. And the Shields looks at a strike 0 1. I don't think you really want to get the ball in the air today, certainly to not to left field. Ball is carrying. Wind seems to come in here and redirect back out to make the balls carry. Candelario and Martinez will agree with that. You can see the flags. Then it comes here, then it goes back out. The Shields rolls one foul. Lino last night had his 10 game hitting streak snapped by the Tigers. Missed some time earlier this year with a fractured hand. There's uh, Jordan Zimmerman. We learned last night after the ball game that he was going to be placed on the DL. He, he appeared to be throwing the ball well. Strike called and Shields is punched out, one gone. Let's take a look at the Tigers starting defense tonight. Nico Gudrum out in left field. He gets to get out of that hot corner at third base. Jacoby in center. Nicholas Castellanos in right. Candyman at third. John Hicks at first. Glacius Machado up the middle again. Mike Fires is on the mound. James McCann behind the dish. Shinsu Chu stands in. Drives one to right field, base hit. Chu is aboard with the Rangers' first hit. Well, let's take a look back to the Tigers' top of the first inning. It happened so fast. We're trying to get the lineups in. See the ball out, way out over the plate. Candyman deep into the left center, and then Victor, middle third up at the top of the zone, barrels it. Three runs for the Tigers. It's a good start. They yeah, have not done that in a while. The Victor home run was certainly going off the bat. You could tell the uh, the Candelario one kind of fooled me a little bit. I think it had enough. And then the Shields just kept drifting and drifting and drifting. Well, based upon the previous from Jacoby, didn't carry as much. You were thinking it's not going to go out, but then you were starting to watch it, and that's, that's a tough call, isn't it? Yeah, picked up steam. Here is Mazzara. He homered last night off Fulmer. There's a strike right at the belt. Fires in his last start allowing five earned runs in four innings. He threw just 66 pitches in a 10 6 loss in KC. Chu back in standing up. There was a time when Shin Su was good for 20 bags a year. Early in his career came over from Cleveland Indians. How many years have you been here Four, five? Uh, a few more than that. I believe his sixth year in Texas now at the big contract. And Mazzara takes outside two balls and one strike. Well this kid has massive power in fact uh, they got Mazzara and Gallo and Beltre in the middle of their lineup they they can all hit the ball out of the ballpark. Mazzara's got eight of them. Slap down the left field line slicing away. Long run. Pretty uh, uh, outfield isn't that big, but the, the grass is very nice and good shape. It's not long. It's I think it's a short Bermuda gla uh, grass. So for the outfield, it's a good track, and I remember this field as being a good field to run on. So it's kind of hard. Now the infielders don't like hard infields. They prefer it moist and stay that way and a little bit soft. They have to stand on it the whole day, whole night. 
Bouncing ball to first. Hicks tags the bag. One tag play down at second and a double play. Nicely done. Tigers get a 3 6 twin killing. Tigers have a 3 nothing lead as we go to the top of the second now in Arlington. Mike Miner back of the hill and a swing and a miss by Nico Goodrum. Bottom three for the Tigers. Goodrum, Iglesias, and Machado facing the Rangers lefty. Tiger hitters really come out swinging. They like the first pitch swing. Nico trying to jump that fastball gets two change ups. Miner trying to settle in after being jumped in the first inning on homers by Candelario and Martinez. The 0 2. Goodrum making just his second start of the year in left field with Jacoby sliding to center field. Martin out of the lineup. Nico's been all over the field though. He'll shoot that one to the ground and through. It's an 0-2 base hit for Nico Goodrum. Well, Tigers making lots of roster moves as of the last week or so. Daniel Norris has been transferred to the 60 days. Zimmer on the 10. Alex Wilson on the 10. I believe Wilson will be longer than that. Purchased a contract with Pete Cos Cosma and Zach Renninger. Both those guys from Toledo. Pitchers. Here is Iglesias. Straighten him up. Nico's going to want to go, you know that. This be a great uh, combination here to hit and run on. Ball too low. Dave Clark running through the signs down at third base. Iglesias in the ball game last night, two out of five. Snap throw back down by Perez, and Nico gets back in. Meanwhile, three and oh. Miner appears to be rushing to try and keep Nico close over at first base. 1.1 seconds, so that's not that's going to stop him from stealing, but you still got to throw a strike. Tigers will take the free pass if they come. A couple of key moments in the ball game last night. Iglesias flared one to right field that was dropped by Mazzara, which briefly gave the Tigers a lead before they gave it back up.
Fly ball right field. That ball hit pretty good. Mazzara going back to the wall, and it's going to carry out and gone. Okay, Iglesias, an opposite field home run. Now you know the ball's flying tonight. There for a second, he was running the bases, thought he was going to pass Nico. Of course, he'd be out if he did it. Wow. Big pop today. Oh, we need a good baby. Who you running at? Gippy, you want to suit up, take your swings? Well, I told you this is where I hung him up right here in this ballpark. Must be a perfect spot before you make your comeback. Yeah. If I could see the ball, it'd be fun. Tiger's doing a great job. That's three, three home runs, two two run, and a, and a solo. Tiger's up five nothing. First of the year for Iglesias. Here's Machado. So Candelario Martinez and now Iglesias with home runs. Nobody up. Ooh. Another rifle shot right back up the middle into center field. It's batting practice right now against Minor. All these balls are pretty much hard hit. Said missing by far. Better be ready, huh? That is six Tigers hits already. And now back up to the top of the lineup here is Jacoby Jones. He fly to center field to start the ball game. Ball one. Minor last year, 65 appearances out of the Royals' bullpen. It really was uh, quite good out of their bullpen. That's flared to right field. Masara is on the move, still going, runs it down. That ball was headed to the corner, and Jacoby has one taken away. Good at bat, though. That's all you can ask for is have a good at bat. Keep having good at bats, you're going to have better results. Really good read right here. He's got to come. He's got to read. Sees that Mazzaro's got it. Retreats. Here's Candelario. Chamber pulls one foul. Fifth home run of the year, a solo shot in the first inning. And that was also his 18th extra base hit of the year. Pulled on the ground with a shortstop. Could be two. There's one relay. There's two. It's a double play. And it goes 6-4-3. Tigers had two more, though, thanks to Jose Iglesias, his first homer of the year in Apple. Field shot.
Well, the Tigers lead 5 0 now on the Iglesias home run. Time for the Lowe's whole team together. And you know, the Rangers, they've got the power to get back into it. Most homers per game since late April. And the way the wind's blowing out, that's a bad combo. So you got to play it like it's a tie game right now. And you need, need to get some runs. Tigers don't want to get. Take things for granted here. Adrian Beltre leads it off, who is activated off the disabled list today, right before the game for the Rangers. And didn't you tell me there was four home runs in Kansas City today? In the first inning. The moon night? Must be. One of those nights. There's a ball low and away, 1 1 on the very talented Beltre. Hamstring problem put him on the disabled list. Over 3,000 hits in his career. Spins out of the way of a ball inside that bended on him. Two and one. What's he been out 10 days? This was either Deke or he just got fooled. It's hard to believe he got fooled. Here's the 2 1. Three balls, one strike on Beltre. So when you say Deke, are you saying he uh, purposely made it look like he was really fooled to have him throw it again? Well, maybe he's trying to bait you. Let's go fastball away right here. High towering fly ball to right field. Castellanos under it. One gone. Time for the DTE Energy. Know your own power. Jose Iglesias in the second. Top of two run Jack. Know your power, Iggy. And yeah, he knew it right over there that short porch. It looks a little bit like the old Tiger Stadium over there. He used that short porch nicely. When this ballpark was built, they took elements from other existing ballparks. Tiger Stadium, of course, with the overhang and right view. There's a chopper up the middle. And Iglesias throws him out, and Gallo retired. Two up, two down. And uh, also, you see the uh, at the very top of the upper deck, they have the white fencing, which is something they had in New York as well at the old Yankee Stadium. That would be way up here, drawing. That's what you're talking about, aren't you? Oh, that no, wasn't well, it. see it right there. Oh, you oh can here see we go. Right yeah, all the this stuff right yeah. here. The decorative kind of picket look that they had at uh, old Yankee Stadium. Two gone. That last play goes 6 3 as Iglesias field of the ground ball to the right of second. Here's Profar. Two twenty five for Profar last night had a huge triple in the ball game. In fact it provided the game winning run for the Rangers. Got jets in that uh, that bat. He didn't look like ball was away and he just went with it the opposite way. He was hitting left handed wasn't he. Ball went all the way to the wall. But has not done it consistently like they thought he was highly touted. Has not lived up to his billing yet. It's one of the things that players can get wound up in. Do they don't mean to? They they don't understand how it happens, but people start putting expectations on you, and it's not how you see yourself. It's something that's hard to deal with. Take you backwards. Swing and a miss, and Mike Fire is doing good work here through the early part of this game. Five nothing Tigers.
This one is they take their swings here in the third. It's going to be Castellanos to lead things off for the Tigers. By the way, Menards brings you the big money encounter. How about Nicholas this season against lefties, really good. He likes him. 13 for 26. It'll go foul. You're going to want to make sure you don't take anything close here at two strikes. Bill Miller behind the plate. He's rated as the most active strike caller in baseball. That means he calls the most strikes above what is expected by any ump. Has ejected Guardy one time in 2013. Did not clip me. Oh, he called that. No. Did you see that? Do we have a strike three call on Castellanos? Nick can't believe it. Angel, Angel Hernandez, Hernandez. I can. <laughs> yeah, that, that look on Guardy's face. Well, he'll be behind the plate tomorrow. He's will save his rating for tomorrow. He came up with the right hand quickly. I don't think anybody really expected it to happen, but it did. Inside part of the plate for strike one on V Mart. Two run shot for Victor to left field is first at bat. Do you like umpires that call strikes? I do. How I'll about like if you were a hitter? I wouldn't. But I'm not a hitter. It's all based on what you do at the ballpark, don't you think? Broadcasters love games that go quickly. Hitters, yeah. they don't like the strike calls. Pitchers, sure. Bill Miller behind the dish. Angel Hernandez, first base. It's been in a couple of controversial calls over the years, but a couple. Yeah. <laughs> There's a ball high two and two now on V -Mark. I always like to look uh, Bill Miller. He's he's umpired in every postseason since 2008. Edison Volquez threw a no hitter. He had that one as well. It's been kind of a streaky year for Victor Martinez. He's gone through stretches where he couldn't buy a hit. And then of course he really got hot at the start of this road trip. Victor now sits safely in six in a row. Bouncing ball to short. Two steps to his right profile. Two gone. Well, let's take a look. Bill Miller, we're going to start doing this uh, fairly often. There you got it. Left being ready ball uh, batters. High and low pitches for strikes more often than most. Loves to call strikes high and outside. So we'll see. I think he got one early in the first inning. I noticed one of them. Yeah, I got to be honest. I really love these umpire reports you do because we analyze every single part of the game. But the guy calling balls and strikes is just as important in terms of the flow of the game and how it ends up. It'll pop up the first and Guzman will haul it in. It'll be a one two three inning and we'll go to the bottom of the third in Texas.
in with a solo shot. And Castellanos got a single on Victor Martinez. He went deep for a two run shot into the left field stands. And in the second inning, Jose Iglesias, Apo, Apo Papo. And that uh, was a two run shot as well after Nico Goodrum had his lead off base hit. So we got a couple of two run home runs and a solo shot. We got a 5 0 lead here as we go to the bottom of the third. Meanwhile, Mike Fires has done the rest. He has allowed one hit, but has also gotten a double play. Isaiah Connor Falefa stands in. He'll be followed by Guzman and then Perez. Seven, eight, nine for the Rangers. That's an interesting name for me to try and say. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Falefa. Good job. Just missed. Ooh, that was close. No courtesy there. Here you go. From Green. armpit to armpit. Sliced the other way and under the glove of Hicks, but fires the nice job to cover the bag. Machado backed up Hicks. Great job by Mike Fires. This is, uh, they may review this, but this is a good job. He gets on his way. He's calm. He, watch, he's going to come right up this line right here. He's going to just take his time and make sure. Yeah, he got him. That's hard to run over there, catch the ball, and then know where you're at and just put your foot right in the bag. Good play. Here is Guzman. Three, four, one on that put out. Really put three numbers on your score sheet there? I did. Initially, I had it backwards, but now the, the correct uh, one, four, three. order is yeah, I had one, four, three. It's three, four, one. Now, how would you put that in your score sheet? It's plain old C. Hit a ground ball over <laughs> the first baseman, and he's out. <laughs> I need to but, make a note of it. I'll circle it. But if I were to look at that and see a C, I mean, it could it be anything from a 6 3 ground out to a 4 3 ground out? It could be a 3 4 6 4 3 if it wanted it to of be. Course. I wouldn't care. <laughs> I'm just focusing on out or not. <laughs> Strike called on Guzman. All I'm interested in outs to the runs. Run. It's good enough play. We'll remember it. Swing and a miss. Two and two now on Ronald Guzman. Guzman in the ball game last night was one for two. Also had a couple of walks. He's been prone to striking out a lot lately. And here look at one down low three and two. We're talking about some of the, uh, the height they have on this team Gallo and Guzman. Good fires making him miss a little gamesmanship right there. Guzman's ready to hit. Fires just playing a little game there, saying not, not, not yet, young fella. Drill to right field, base hit. Right over Machado's glove, even though he was playing in short right. Time for a game break now. Here's John Keating. All right, Keats, thanks. Four homers in the first inning. I think they knocked Dylan Bundy out of that game without getting an out. Yeah, Bundy did not record one out. And she of is. all of the uh, Baltimore pitchers, he's been fairly good this year. Is he a spot starter? Or is he in the Bundy? rotation? No, he's in the rotation. Oh, Dylan Bundy, yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, seeing him when he's in high school. He was a quarterback going to Oklahoma, wasn't he? I don't, that I don't know. This might be another double play ball. Iggy Machado relay is in time. Another double play. 
Six four three the Tigers second twin killing of the night. And Mike Fires getting some support from his defense as well. Iglesias bit of a funny hop. They'll turn two. Tigers baseball presented by Bell Tire. We go to the fourth inning, and it'll be McCann, Goodrum, and Iglesias facing Mike Miner. Miner has straightened out the ship a little bit. He had a one, two, three, third after being beat up pretty good in the first two innings. McCann lined to left field his first time up. Two and zero. Oh. James looks like he's quieting down. At the plate, not so jumping. Front foot stepping out a lot, softer, landing on it softer. Whistle down the left field line, fair ball, send it to the corner. It's going to be extra bases for McCann, and he will cruise into second with a leadoff double. By the way, the Tigers take on Seattle this Saturday, May 12th at 4.10 p.m. The first 20,000 fans receive a free 1968 50th anniversary tote bag. If you'd like tickets, go to Tigers.com or 866-66-TIGER. Fifth double of the year now for McCann. Here's Goodrum. James feeling good. Got a good pitch. Didn't try to do too much with it. Nico pops it up first base side. Guzman has room. That ball came back to him. One gone. But right here, we're, I'm looking into what, what did the Tigers they leave third most men on base in the American League. Here's an opportunity for Nico. Do you remember when he threw him the fir that first time up? Bunch of changeups. He gets one right here. Off the end of the bat. That's you don't want to. You want to try and correct those situations. You get an opportunity. First swing. You want to drive that ball. Now you got to be hunting. You got to hunt something. The Glacius and opposite field two run homer in the second. Tigers have leave left 11 men on base again last night. That's uh, they're on a roll in the wrong direction right now but they're trying to correct it. It's been a bit of an epidemic in fact in their previous five games 48 men left on base nearly 10 per contest which is way too many. Well if you're the righty you're in the first guy Nico he was trying should have been going that way which he, he, he actually was he just dropped that barrel. That 
everybody has to figure out a way because it's exciting. You get up there and there's somebody in scoring position. You want to play him. You want to hit the home run. You're seeing it good. You really have to learn how to control your emotions. Like when I used to go to school, you know, you got to find a way to slow it down. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about big at bats, big moments. I was way high. Well, here you go. These are the American League numbers. Only the Astros have left more on base this year than the Tigers. They're doing pretty good. Their team ERA is sub two or sub three. So like two and a half or something like that. Soft line drive towards second. Little looper there, and it's going to be cut off for the out. Guzman made the play, and there are two gone. Runner holding. It'll bring up Machado. Strike one to Dixon, who singled. In fact, he hit a bullet right back up the middle in his first at bat. Turn him off the speed, 85 miles an hour. That's pretty much what he's done to all three hitters. A lot of arm motion on that. I believe that's a changeup. That's a breaking ball or slider. It's not doing much. Just a lot of arm motion. Two and one on Dixon. Miner was originally drafted by the Atlanta Braves. In fact, he was a first rounder who was picked seventh overall out of a school that produces a lot of major league players. That would be Vanderbilt. The most, I believe, they or they have the most in the big leagues right now. Is that that? It wouldn't surprise me. They're up there. 2009 was the year that Miner was drafted. Soft roller on a check swing. Miner will handle it. And that'll be it for the Tigers. So they get a leadoff double and strand a man. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the Shield leading off. per second covered 100 feet only 19 percent chance that he's going to catch that ball and he did 
This distance covered was 100, and this is the average season average feet. 76 was the highest, so he went 100 on that. Wow. So he got a good jump. League average 64, so he's almost double. You can tell by the naked eye, it's a great play. But when you start attaching numbers to it, you realize, you know, we talk about hit probabilities, how much ground these guys are covering. Pretty impressive. It's another way to measure. The shield struck out in the first hope for one. That's fun when you're out there in the outfield. You got speed like that. You're just low flying. And there's no walls to worry about. High fly ball left field playable. Goodrum is drifting. And one gone. That's why I used to like to play center field because you really had nothing to worry about. If you're in right or left field, you've got the wall behind you, the wall in foul territory. Center field, you seldom have to make a great play on the wall. I don't remember how much center field did you play? Uh, Not I much? Played mostly right field in, yeah. in Tiger Stadium because my arm was weak and it was what, 305 or 315 it was upper deck, so I could play shallow. I think Roger Craig gave Sparky the suggestion. Now, uh, you know, you're in different ballparks. A little big out there, but we got Lou Whitaker way out there, and I hit the cutoff, man. It works well. You also had a guy named Chet Lemon playing center field. Who led the league in putouts. I don't know how many years, but he took everything. He could be camped under there, had all the wood burned up. Put the water on it to finally put it to sleep, and Chet would still come over and try and light it back up. <laughs> He's just kid everything. <laughs> Here's the one two, and Chu rolls one to first base. Hicks will take it himself, two gone. As you enjoy a Miller light, look forward to the whole true moment later in tonight's game. So far, we got a lot of Tiger highlights can get plugged in there. Like it. And you got to like the way Mike Flyers is going about his business. He's been helped out by two double plays, but he has induced those ground balls, allowing only two hits. And he came into this game allowing 31 runs in 31 and a third innings career against Texas. So they had planted some big numbers on him coming into play tonight. There's a drive to center. That'll be a base hit. Only the third hit of the game for the Rangers. Two out single. Mazzara is aboard. That keeps it going now for Beltre. Very great that. Beltre flied out his first hit back. Dangerous hitter right here, 307 on the year, just came off the disabled list today. Three thousand seventy-five hits in his career. It'll back him out of there. Hall of Famer. You know, I was about to ask you the same question. When you look at his body of work, I would say yes. Three thousand hits, great defender. First ballot? Uh, I don't know. How many guys with 3,000 hits aren't in there? None. That so, I know of. So he'd be the first. Can't see it. No, I can't either. 287 lifetime, 463 home runs, 1650 ribbies. Tigers lead, 5 nothing. Bottom of the fourth. 3 0 on Beltre. Fires being very careful with Beltre. That may be smart, but Joy Gallo, he's got top two, so you're going to have to make good pitches to get through one of the next two here. Beltre is also 36th all time with his 463 homers. 
Next up on the list, Dave Winfield, Miguel Cabrera. They have 465. Miggy, of course, still going. In the air toward right center field, shallow, and it's going to drop base hit. Mazzara goes to third base, and Beltre loops a single to right. Two on now with two outs. Hey, you want to play like pro? Now's your chance to play with an LPGA player in the Boldak LPGA Championship Wednesday, May 23rd. It's in Ann Arbor. More details. Or if you'd like to enter your chance to win, go to FoxSportsDetroit.com. Two on now with two outs. Got to make the... Got to make the pitch right here. Joey Gallo can get a few back in a hurry. Remember what happened the other day. If he goes... That's the Glacius. He's got to step up in there and cover the bag. That happened in Kansas City. Nobody covered. Both runs ended up scoring. Check swing fouled off. They don't have a screen like everybody else, do they? These are my eyes. Okay. They do. It's just it appear to be as tall as uh, some of the others around the league, including the one in Comerica Park. But yes, they do. And it's different than the one behind the home plate. It's got to be much lighter, huh? There's a good view. That's the one that's kind of behind the plate, right? We go down by. Strike if, home. How about if we go down past third base a little bit? That's the end right there. Yeah, it stops at the end of the dugout. Hmm. Well, I know the one in Comerica Park has uh, already saved a lot of screaming line drives from getting into the seats. You're right. One and two on Gallo. Try to go up top here, right at the top of the zone. Don't miss low. Gallo last year with 41 home runs, yet he batted only 201. Knocked in 90. Gallo actually is from the Las Vegas area, played Little League on the same team as Bryce Harper. I was reading a stat about Harper today. He's one of the worst in UZR, ultimate zone rating in the outfield. Uh oh. Hit that one straight up. He's hit. Literally straight up. Who's going to take it? Anyone? Fires just lets it drop. Fires Hicks and McCann, and it falls in foul ground. Well, you could tell Hicks didn't appear to want any part of that, and Fires was right in the middle of it. Nobody did. And McCann was standing at home plate as well. Sky is what we call a high sky right now. You couldn't see it very good. I don't know if anybody picked it up. You look at the sea. Look at. Nobody really picks it up well. Everybody's looking, looking. Nobody's calling it. Look at Fires is pointing at it. I wonder if Fires was calling it because. Yeah, right here. My fault. Well, you don't want to give Gallo another swing, but they will indeed. Up and away. Low and outside, two balls and two strikes. Like up and away. It's ruled a no play, by the way. There was no air charge on that play. 50 pitches, 30 strikes. 60%. Think you can come in and jam me right now, then go away. It's got to be in off the plate, right about where it's under his right elbow. Oh, they're going away. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. So Fires able to come back and strike out Gallo. The Rangers leave a pair.
Iona. Jones pops the first pitch up right side of the infield. Connor Falefe holds it in, one gone. Could you read these for me, Mario? You read the last one, okay. First one. Get a good pitch. Runners in scoring position. The keys. Think middle. And what's the last one say? Just a onesie. I know you'd be good. So you want to get a good pitch. That's obvious. So you want to think middle. The onesie is just like you got one or two guys on. Just you try. Just get one guy in. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Don't get big. Don't pull off the ball. The Tigers had a golden opportunity last inning. Lead off double. And uh, we'll take a look at those pitches. I mean, they're trying. We know that. They got to get better. We talked to Gardy. Got to find a way to get better. Score more runs. Win more games. And generally, people get anxious in those situations. He'll pop up to the right side, and Guzman hauls it in. Let's take a look at our bell tire pitch by pitch. Now, this is last inning. Goodrum's first. Away, off the end of the bat. Then we got Iggy. They put that away easy. Just they jammed him inside right here. Go ahead, we'll let it go. Got jammed. And then the last one was Dixon. So they're reaching for those balls. So, I mean, they would all say they could get a good, a better pitch. And, you know, putting those keys to work, you can have more success. But that's the trick. Because, like I said, you have so much energy in your body. They went up and said, guy in second, I got to get him in. I got to get him in. Now, Goody had an easy one. He could have just hit the ball to the right side of the diamond. So the next guy just needs to get a ground ball or a little sack fly. Beltre's throw pulled him off the bag. Absolutely. It's a routine play there for the veteran third baseman. He yanked Guzman off the bag. E5. Still a Hall of Famer for you? Yeah, one play's not going to do Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> no, nope, you're out of the Hall of Fame I, now. I don't, even know, I don't even know the last time I saw him making there. I can't either. I mean, he's his throws are as accurate as anybody in the game. Now, again, it's his first game back. Off the disabled list, taking a lot of ground balls before the ball game today. Here's Victor Martinez. Let's see if we can make him pay. Ball one. So does that make sense? It does. Now, I wonder how much of it is a concentration is issue. Is that any part of it? Well, you've heard people say slow the game down. That's one way to describe it. You, you get anxious. I mean, I I failed a thousand times. I, I get it. But as they move forward, and Lloyd and Clarkie, those guys, Phil Clark, they're they're preaching the message. You got to learn how to trust it and learn how to execute in those situations. That's what they work on every day. They work on it in batting practice. They work on it in the game. They work on it in extra batting practice. I'll tell you, Lloyd is ultra positive. Phil's the same way. These guys are fortunate to have these two guys. They put tons of time and hours, suggestions. Picking up balls, throwing balls, putting balls on tees. Beamart Hackham 3 0. Well, here is the Bernstein advantage when we talk of Victor Martinez. We talk of the uh, streak he's on now compared to his previous 12 games. 3 for 35. And now 409 over his last six. Got one hit the last game on the homestand, I think, and then he's been he's been on fire here. On the road. Chop the third foul. I think if Nick wanted to, he could go first move here and make it. Good count to do it. Now it's 3 2. Before that, it was 2 2. Victor, two run shot on the first. That extended the Tiger lead to 3 to nothing, and then. A two run homer by Iglesias made it 5 0. Miner with a light move over there. Thinking Nick might get careless, but he's not going to do that. The shortstop profile. 
Plenty of time to get Martinez, and that will end the inning. No runs, no hits, and error. One man left. In Texas, game two in this series. All Tigers so far, they lead five nothing on the power of three early homers in this game off Mike Miner. Jerickson Profar leads it off and uh, fires through and at his feet. Profar a strikeout in the second. The Rangers strike out a lot, they've struck out three more times tonight. Ten. In the ball game last night, and they'd lead all of baseball in strikeouts. The 1 0. Profard, one time, was a prime prospect, one of the best prospects in all of baseball. Playing shortstop these days with Elvis Andrews on the DL. There's a wave and a miss. Beltre just came off the disabled list today, but Andrews is on. Beltre was on, and uh, Rugned Odor is also on the DL. Now the one two. Fires was able to pitch around two singles in the fourth inning struck out Joey Gallo. Check that high three and two. Wow KC putting it on Baltimore tonight. We got out of there in time. Beat down. Driven to right field. That ball is deep. Castellanos looks up, and that ball is gone. Jerickson Profar, his second of the year, and the Rangers are on the board. Their profile, he likes pull. Ball was running on the outside corner. Well, just get it in the air tonight. You got a chance. Change up. Here is Connor Valefa. 
Fanner for the left one. Bounced out his first time. High fly ball center field playable. Jones under it. One away. Tomorrow you say the ball is jumping out of here. Well, it was in batting practice as well today. Jacoby Jones told me as much after his round. I told him, well, I'll tell you what, you hit one out tonight, we'll talk about a post game. He said, sounds like a deal. But the guys were noticing early in batting practice, the ball was leaving the yard with some regularity. Well, they got three of them tonight, and all three came in the first two innings. So uh, I guess you can tell during BP what kind of night it's going to be, and they've been flying. Let's get our wind checker going. You, you hear me, Trev? Is Trev our wind checker? Yeah. We can get him. I'm right here for you, Gibby, and I can tell you there's really no breeze. There's no wind. It's where, pretty, where it's pretty still out here. I'm dead center field by the batter's eye right under the game cameras, and I'm feeling zero wind. The wind factor is okay. nil. Just go behind you there. See the screen spot right here? We'll, we'll show you in a second. I don't know if you got a monitor, but I'll show the viewers. We have that behind the screen again. Just walk up here, and it looks like you can climb up on top of this, and we go mid-level right here, Trev. Security would be on him so no, fast they that it's whistle foul. I can't afford to go to jail. Gideon. Trev, don't listen. I'll, to I'll him. take one for the <laughs> team, but I'm not going to jail. I'm not asking you to. <laughs> you just said they'll the tackle hill. me and take me to jail. No, We've seen I it didn't before. say they'll tackle you. <laughs> well, that's what happens. You, did you like to climb when you were a little kid? I'd climb anything. It was fun tobogganing, but you never like to climb back up. Three and two now. The count on Guzman. That's the kind of fun I like. I'm just saying. Now fires ready with the three two. Got him strike three. Nice. Four strikeouts now for fires. Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by Bell Tire for tires and auto service. Everybody needs a Bell Tire guy. And by Chevrolet, the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Another warm evening here in Arlington. Tigers up five to one in this one. Let's sail foul down the right field line. Carlos Perez catching tonight for the Rangers. He was acquired off the waiver wire from Atlanta last Wednesday. Veteran catcher. No balls, two strikes. You can carve out a pretty good big league career as a backup catcher. Many have done it over the years. Yeah, you have to be able to be a good catcher. Number one, good receiver, call a good game, throw well, manage the whole the whole field, and they'll uh, you got a good shot. Down the first base line, but Hicks watches it sail back out of play. We were talking last night. Do you think there are guys on that field that don't want the ball hit to them? I would hope not. Not at this level. But I think human nature sometimes, if you misplay a ball or two, probably takes over. Well, that wind's howling. I know I might be one of those guys who was out there. And so we had a kind of a running joke and when I was with the Dodgers. And that running joke was? Well, Pedro Guerrero one day said, he said, Pete, what do you what do you think about in a game like this? He said, I don't want that ball hit to me. And he says, Well, what else do you think? I don't want to hit the saxy. <laughs> <Sex. laughs> or they could say Gibby, you know. Sax uh, at one point in his career had trouble getting to first base, didn't he? Yeah, but uh, this guy was such a gamer. Love him on your team. He fought his way through it. Lead off hitter. 
That's hard to overcome. You know, you've seen guys yeah. get the thing. It's impressive what he accomplished, to be honest with you. Many don't do it. Going to see Saxe this weekend and 33 Union over there in LA with that 88 team. That will peel two and two now on Perez. Should he reach the shields waiting on deck? Swing and a miss. Got it. So fires now with five strikeouts. They get a run on the Profar homer. This month had an opportunity. He's making the most of it. Loves to hit a good, lively bat head. Ball jumps off. Hicks, McCann, Goodrum here as we go to the sixth. Was that guy that we showed coming back from break eating a boomstick? Have you seen those boomsticks? I haven't. What are they? It's like a, it's a hot dog. That is covered in just about every ingredient known to man. Look at that thing. It's a boomstick. Hey, he's about halfway through it. Oh, wow, he's going at it too. That's a commercial right there. Foul away. Now, but you put ketchup on this thing. Oh, there's a look at those napkins. They look like dollar bills. <laughs> Because they are. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, strike three. Hicks caught looking one gun. Time for a game break now, and John Keating. Well, congratulations to Paxton. Uh, Gibby, I think you would agree. We always do. This guy had a ton of talent. Really great He's stuff. Great stuff. I wonder how many. Oh. I wonder how many um, no hitters were thrown on turf versus grass. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. It seemed like it would be harder on turf. I know when uh, Verlander threw his in Toronto, his the second of his career, he struck out. 
fewer. I think he only had three strikeouts compared to double digits against Milwaukee in his first no hitter. They're picking him up, huh? They were. The roof open, roof closed would be another one. Mack waits on the 0 2, and he got him strike three. So now Miner with a pair of punch outs. Bill Miller's getting loose back there. Yes, he is. Hey, this Sunday, May 13th, the Tigers face the Mariners at 110. Pink out the park and Mother's Day. The first 10,000 fans receive a free pink out the park hat courtesy of Kroger. If you'd like tickets, go to Tigers.com. Get your name for your card. Working on it. But uh, yeah, more than likely I do. How about you? Uh, I haven't zoned in on it yet. Um, I've lost two very close friends. Unfortunately, well, but, uh, you can use both. Yeah, you keep fighting the fight for those that are trying to beat it still. Nico single or pop up pink tie. I'm sure. I'd like to buy you a pair of pink shoes. Pink shoes. See now, Simo would probably wear those, but not me. Yeah, but well, well, out flashing. Well, that's, that's an idea. I'm not sure it's possible. Flared in the air to center field. The shield's coming on to make the catch. Yeah, he really scoots. Minor one, two, three, sixth inning. Far in the fifth. He's got the top lineup to deal with now as we go to the sixth inning. Delino De Shields leads it off. And he slices one to right, base hit. Here's the 1 800 call Sam called the game last inning. Jerks and Profar greeted Mr. Fires with a leadoff home run. Does he stop at the bleeding though? And he did. He gets. The next three batters gets to fly out here. He gets Ronald Guzman, Carlos Perez to strike out. That's the thing. You give some something up, you got to learn to limit the damage. And here's a little heat right here with a leadoff single by De Shields. Keep an eye on him. He will steal. Key inning here with the top of the lineup leading 5 1. Nobody out. And that'll get right through McCann all the way to the backstop, and the Shields will cruise into second. That hurts. Gotta try to keep that double play. Break the ball. Stay down. Comes guarding. Our boss, rather. 
You can think settle down here again. If we're, we're in the bottom of the six. You got Green for the ninth. You've got Joe Jimenez for the eighth. So we got two innings in bridge here. We got six outs. We got to get through. He may go one to third by each. So that still gives you an inning in, in a third that you got to fill. Here's our Xfinity high speed pitch like fires. 89 low 69. Pretty good conversation out there. I think they're just saying this is what we want to do. Got a four run lead. Stump warming up in the bullpen. So they come around for Mazzara. Beltre is not in the Chew and Mazzara. He'll be ready for those. Actually, Chew's up now, so it's too late. Mazzara would be the big one if he can get, up, get loose quickly. And he, he's really humping it. That's what that was all about. That was the stall they used a, they used a trip to get Stump ready for the next hitter. Lurking also is Joey Gallo, a lefty. He is after Beltre. If you remember last night, this was the inning that unraveled for Michael Foley. Meanwhile, 2 0 now on Chu. Well, you don't want that happening again tonight. Now he's gone 3 0. That whole uh, issue in the sixth inning last night began with a walk to the Shields. That's when it started unraveling for. Fulmer. Swinging on 3 0, and he pounds it foul. Try to jump fires there. Down by four. Five of the six. The shields on second, nobody out. Now I'm 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 thinking Chu right here. I'm not really thinking about the shields. I, I just want to. I'll get out of here with one inning or one run. That's fine. High fly ball, right field. Castiano circles under it. Catch it first. And the shields easily moves up. One gone. Here's Gardy. It's going to be it for Fires. So Mike tonight will go five and a third. And the only run allowed so far, the home run by Profar, Daniel Stump, will be summoned in from the bullpen. Nice job by Fires tonight. Tigers go to the pen and we'll be back.
the Tigers go to the bullpen wall side windows pitching change Daniel Stump. Well this is Gardy's way to go right here. He usually gets Stump up. He likes lefty on lefty. He will leave him in for a righty. 19th game for Daniel. Trying to get through the big guy Mazzara. It'll be interesting to see. He does have a right hander up right now. Ball one to Mazzara. Stump now appearing in his 19th game, which is tied for the league high. And Joe Jimenez has appeared in 18 games. So those two have been used a lot early on here by the Tigers. Mazzara 273 off the of lefties. Compared to 293 off of righties. So you've got the Shields on base, Mazzara. So if he gets on, that means Beltre is not the tying run. So I believe that Bacardi would let him go through Gallo, who's the left handed hitter as well. I mean, you got to be right on top of him. The Shields is on 30 so fast. Anything behind that line, that red line there, is he's going to be safe. It's about as shallow as we've seen those uh, those danger zones there on fly balls. It'll miss outside. Mazzara does not chase two and two. The Shields led things off with a single, moved to second in a wild pitch, and then advanced to third to fly ball. I mean, it seems like anything even in the middle of that range there would be difficult to score. Outside again, so now he's gone full three and two. He's getting ahead in the count. He's three two counts. To wear you down. Wear you out. Well, I'll have to play. Those are balls right out of the hand. He's going to go with the slider here. He's got him set up. All he's got to do is execute it. Good Beltre right behind here. Here's Beltre looking here. Low ball four. And will put two men on. Tigers fans, if you can't catch the games on TV, you can stream them live on your mobile device, Fox Sports Go. Download the app, take Fox Sports Detroit and Tigers baseball with you wherever you go. It is made available by Oakland University. Now I watched Gardy after he walked in. He's got up, took a walk around, sitting there, and I think I'm on to his thinking. Beltre's not the tying run. So he's going to let Stump go through here. He's got the righty ready. Ball one. Got to throw strikes, though. Stump was ahead of Mazzara, then he went three and two and walked him. Okay, again, if he takes off, somebody's got to cover here. Come on. Must not have any heat in my fingers anymore. But Farmer is in the Tigers bullpen. That was the outfielder. I probably deepen up about three to five steps. Got Mazzara on first. You try and cut him down on a gapper. After Beltre, you've got Gallo, the lefty, and then you've got Jerks and Profar, switch hitter. Profar is better against the left hander, so he'll get the righty. Almost hit him. Now most of Stump's pitches have missed glove side. Away to Mazzara. Inside to the righty Beltre. The 2 1. Drill to left center field. It'll get down a base hit. That'll get a run in. Second base. 
Mazzara goes to third. It's an RBI single for Adrian Beltre, and it's five to two. That'll be it. No, not for Gallo. He's got Gallo. That's lefty and lefty. He gets, makes a good pitch. I mean, it was a good hit. He kept his hands in right here. You're watching this guy right here. Beltre, you want to keep him in double play position. One out. That would be the best to get the double play. Just look at our alignment. That's going to be tough to get a double play the way they're aligned. So Gallo now with first and third. Staying in a mess. He fanned in his last at bat in the fourth inning and hit a ground ball out his first at bat. Gallo now is the tying run for the Rangers 5 2 here in the sixth. High pop up. First base side Machado and Hicks who wants it drifting Machado. Big out two gone. Well here was the last. Hit by Beltre. We're talking about keeping Beltre at first. You don't want to go for the lead runner. The throw's got to come right into here. And it does. That's a smart play. If you go to third, Beltre is going to move on up. Daniel's done his job. Buck Farmer comes in. We'll be back. Trying to get it done here in the sixth inning. Another wall side window is pitching change for Buck Farmer. Talking about how they're going to get to the end of this game. We know Greeny's got nine. Joe Jimenez has got eight. We are in the sixth. And uh, Daniel got the lefties out with one run in. And now they go to Buck Farmer, his 17th game. He does have three holes, looking for another tonight. And he has been throwing the ball as of late very, very well. This guard is trying to figure out who can step up on a consistent basis. Uh, however, I will say these guys have been getting used a, a ton. Two down. Looking for one more out. Turned Profar around to his left handed batting side. The numbers say that's the way to go. Cardi agreed and uh, up the buck. Strike in the inside part of the plate, 1 1. Profile thought it was inside, 94 on the gun there from Farmer. 
Profar homered against Fires in the fifth. It was the first Texas run of the night. Each ball club now with seven hits. Chamber in a little bit at third. Oh man. Wow, what a snag. Can. I don't know how we got that one. It's called Olay. Just probably a change up or something. James, good job. Got his glove close to the ball. Excellent pick right there. Fires through 79 pitches, five and a third, six hits, a couple of runs. Way inside, almost hit him. Three Tiger. and one. Tigers might want to think about getting behind Beltray, playing behind him. They're holding him. Still holding him. He just coming off the DL, so he's snuggle up from where he's there. He's just come over behind him here and stay up tight on him. He will not run, but it'll get you that extra half a second to react to a bullet. Fly ball in the air to shallow right field. Castellanos coming in to make the catch. Good job. Farmer gets the out he needed to get, and the Rangers settle for one. Seventh. Jose Iglesias will get it started. Iglesias, Machado, and then Jacoby Jones. Tigers up three. Iglesias two run homer in this game. Looks at strike one from Miner, who suddenly, after giving up five early runs, has slammed the door. Four straight scoreless innings against the Tigers. One ball, one strike. Looks like that zone may be opening up a little bit. Bill Miller, we talked about it earlier in the game. That is popped up. That'll head back to the seats, though. Miner has gone six innings a few times this year, in fact, three times, so he's trying to go his, uh, for his longest outing of the year with an out here. Machado and then Jones here in the seventh. Hit him. So Iglesias is on to get things started here in the seventh. Just like we promised, it's time for the Miller Light whole true moments. 
first inning. Solo shot by Chamber Candelaria. Nice and quiet look at Victor. Two run shot. Then in the second inning. Iglesias goes Apo. Machado tried to bunt. Apparently did not offer. Up to a five or nothing lead now five two. Time called now. We get a mound visit here for the Rangers. Yeah, notice the Tigers have tried to butt more. Have you noticed that lately? They've been working yeah. on it, but they have not executed in the game well. Most of the Alex time. Claudio, excuse me, Gibby, warming up. What do you got here on the Ram pick the stick update? You've got Iglesias with an eight spot and a V Mark with a seven spot. Well, Simo's on the move. Had a couple of good, good days. About time. I was sitting back there quietly. I'm like, Secretary, it's way out in front, but. <laughs> You're making your move. Yeah, I'm just sneaking up quiet. No sign of bunt there. Missed it high. Two and all. You watch where cornermen play in the bunt play. Good Beltre over there. He's so you'll see some guys on the dirt. Beltre's not gonna have anything to do with that lip. Where the dirt starts. He's gonna make sure he's got his heels on. There he goes back now. Just foul outside of the bag. That was close. Well, I didn't think Miner had a chance to be in this game in the seventh inning the way it started out. Gave up two homers in the first, gave up a two run shot in the second, fell behind five nothing early. Tigers basically taking batting practice against him, and then he settled in. Now Machado given time. The old hold and step off. Rain one. Good count to send him right here. It's not what they normally do. They're not going to pitch out. We know that. If you are going, you're Iglesias. You have to make sure he throws home. You have to peak after three steps. Not going. And right down the middle. Dixon held up, though. Didn't like it. Single and a comebacker to the mound for Machado, one for two. Runner going on three two, popped up foul. So get back into the seats. Like that challenge with Machado, get the bat on the ball. Glacius has got to take a, a late jump. Oh, he lost his popcorn apparently. Looks like he's had a fair amount already, doesn't he? That's a pretty big basket there. The 3 2 swing and a miss, throw down, tag waiting, a strike him out, throw him out, double play. That hurts. Trying to get down to second base. Got to have something, you got to have put contact on that ball. They could have made him go back. It looked like Machado fell across the plate. Could have interfered with the catcher. He threw it right over his head. Doesn't matter. Iglesias is out of the throw. Strike one to Jones. That was Pudge-esque, that last throw. Got rid of it quick right over Dixon's head. 0-2. These are the little things that any team wants to win consistently. He's just got to, got to do it. It's 
So this now has turned into the longest outing of the year for Miner. And the one two. Back to Miner, two and two. Simo with a little minus one there, huh? Yes, as a matter of fact. Just off the plate. That nah, was close. Three and two. Get Jacoby on. Get him around those pillows. Whistle foul. Oh. Duck. See, the Nets stop right at the end of the dugout here, and that's why they probably should be extended beyond that. Yeah, I agree. Fly ball lifted to shallow center for the Shields. And that'll end the inning. No runs, a hit batter, nobody left. Coming up, the Consumers Energy seventh inning stretch. Kirk back here at the ballpark and the uh, Tigers trying to hold on to this one. They raced out to an early five to nothing lead. The Rangers trying to chip away, get two runs back the last couple of innings. And uh, Gibby, when you look at this one, baseball can be a real funny game. We say that all the time, but Fires came in with an ERA of nearly nine against the Rangers in his career and did really good work tonight. He, he was excellent. Uh, he hit all of his spots except for the home run he did give up to uh, Profire. The net made some good pitches, uh, gave up the home run and, and uh, shut out the next three guys in the in the in a row in the order of the batting order. So those are the kind of things that really stopped the big inning. He, he gave up one run, then he gave up another one run, then Guardy went to the bullpen. So it's going to be up to the bullpen to redo it. Uh, last night did not go good. The Tigers are playing much better baseball tonight, a little bit cleaner, making all the plays. And uh, they're going to have to capitalize on any opportunity that they have this, this uh, from this place forward. Well, the Tigers hoping to add on against Mike Miner, who uh, early in the game gave up five runs, but he settled in nicely as well. And there's a strikeout for the first out of the inning for Farmer. But you know, Miner, I think, uh, pitched pretty well. Certainly kept his team in the game tonight. He did. He kept coming. Uh, you know, I was looking. He's drawing. Taking a little bit off the fastball, throwing 85 ish sometimes. I thought it was a changeup. I think he's just adding and subtracting up to 93. And Buck Farmer, since he's come in, he's needed to get the two out. Out in the, the last inning, did so. And now he's coming here and got the lead off the guy. Here is Ronald Guzman, who is one for two single. And a strikeout for the tall left handed first baseman. Interesting to see if. Farmer gets through this inning. I think probably got Joe Jimenez slated, but 
Buck gets through this inning quickly. He might extend him one, give Joe another day. Be ready, although he's he's rested. Well, that's why that sixth inning was so critical for Fires. If he could have gotten them through the sixth, the bullpen would have been in much better shape here in the last couple of innings. But in the meantime, Farmer doing good work. And Machado throws out Guzman two gone. Good change up. We'll bring up Carlos Perez. Wind's picking up a little bit right here. Anywhere in the field, you got to check it and know what's going on. Ball goes up, you got to be able to predict where it's going to land. This is a tough place right here to catch fly balls in wind. We've seen a couple tricky ones. One dropped in between three players. Fires did get out of the inning, though. You can just tell when it goes up. Everybody's kind of looking around a little bit. Not quite confident. You got it. I got it. You take it. It's tricky. Perez, a double play ball and a strikeout. Two on, nobody on for the Rangers. Tigers trying to get their second win on this road trip. They dropped three out of four to the Royals and then dropped the opener here last night. And the Tigers came in 14 and 20 on the season. Losing is one thing, but being uh, he did. Went around, strike three called, and Farmer a one, two, three, seventh. A couple of punch outs. We go to the eighth. Chamber Candelario will get it started for the Tigers. A bank can be come to Comerica, your Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. Visit ChevyDetroit.com. See why Chevy drives to Motor City. And by Wallside Windows, we can do that. We are the factory. Back here in Arlington Globe Light Park for game two in this three game series. And Alex Claudio coming out of the bullpen now for the Rangers takes over for Mike Miner, the starter. Claudio's uh, allowed some six runs over his last six and a third innings pitched. That's over seven games. ERA is up to 6.06. Lefties will lead on. Sorry, lefties are hitting 250, 478. The righties. Pierce will have an opportunity here, and he got to pad this lead. Candelario, Castellanos, and Martinez, 2 3 4. If you tuned in a little bit late tonight, Leonis Martin was scheduled to have an MRI on his knee. 
Here's the drive toward the gap in right center field. The Shields on the run, not going to get there. It's going to go up against the wall. Jamer is on his way to second. He will pull in with a leadoff double. Second extra base hit of the night for Candelario. Hey, the Lining Summer Party Pack is back for every Friday and Saturday Tigers home game. That includes a game ticket, a voucher, and a beer starting at just $19 per person. For tickets, go to tigers.com slash Lining. Good job by Jammer. Getting on there. Got to get a run here. 19 extra base hits now for Candelario this year. Got good gap power. Nick a single and a run scored. He is also fanned and reached on an air. Hit him. So Castellanos is on, not the start that Claudio wanted here in the eighth. Yeah, he just he yanked this and right on the knee for the quad. Claudio has been used quite a bit this year, 19th appearance as well. Well, they're definitely going to try and get the double play ball for Victor. Victor. Hope he gets a ball up in the zone. Takes middle. Ball one. Get the clock on him and see if he's doable to third. Tigers open three tonight with men in scoring position. Two run shot for Martinez in the first one of two the Tigers hit that inning Candelario also went deep. Swing and a miss he let it all hang out there one and two. 87 mile an hour he's got some sink on it cut. Do whatever he wants there. Pulled foul. Let's take a look at our game summary. 5-2 Tigers. Three home runs in the first two innings. Profile for Texas, a solo shot. Fires, five and a third. Two Ernie's and minor. Seven innings pitched. No walks, four Ks, and he gave up five Ernie's. Nub right in front of the plate. They're going to go to third and get the force there. Let's nice play by the catcher Perez. Martinez aboard of the fielder's choice. One out. Surprised that he really went to this, but it's his easiest play. Look at he's running right out that way. He goes right behind Victor. To throw to first would have been hard to get an accurate throw, so he just goes right in front of him. The play's in front of him, makes an accurate throw. Reyes will pinch run for Victor. Oh, they're going for they're going for the win. They take Victor out. They're assuming they're not going to have to. The game plan is that he doesn't have have to come around again. Here's John Hicks. That floats up there. Ball one. Hicks in search of his first hit of the night. Tigers lead 5 2, trying to tack on here in the eighth inning. They have not scored since the second. Way out in front. Thing came in at 72 miles an hour. Yeah, he's going to see another.
you can look off speed right here and you don't have to worry about the fastball as long as you don't try and pull it and that in theory is the way you should approach it according to me that he <laughs> may have his own way of looking for it but that'll get away from the catcher Perez I mean if you think about a ball that's coming at 90 what is that 70 70 low 70s very low 70s so you obviously it's like softball you got to let it come deep can't try and pull it it looks real juicy but you got to just really let it come pass ball forcing the Rangers now to pull the infield in got to go on contact here so if you get the lead runner you got the trail runner behind him in the air toward right field. Here comes Mazzara toward the line. Runners will tag. Catch is made. And Mazzara airs it out to home plate. Not in time. Sack fly. Nice job by Hicks. Better way to get the job done. You get second, third. Little fly ball. If he's going. If he's going. Look at Good job by going back. Gets the hand over the plate. Yep, right on there. 6 2 ball game now. Tiger is up by four. Sounds better than three, doesn't it? A whole lot better. Especially this late in the game. We'll bring up McCann now. The infield back with two outs. Ball one to McCann. Another duck out there. Pick it up. Joe Jimenez. Claudio last year appeared in 70 ball games for the Rangers, saved 11 of them. McCann a double and three at bats. Lays down a bunt, but foul. Pretty hard guy to bunt. Look how his ball cuts. He throws way from down below. Ball cuts across the plate. Here we go. He's got all the time in the world. Takes his time. Just pulls it foul. See how early he was right there. He just tend to do that on a bunt. Good idea though. Going to play those shifts and play you back. Surprise. But single RBI. Tigers fans having fun. And he missed again. Now the count fills three and two on McCann. James is doing good. I'm just looking at the way he's sitting in his legs. Remember earlier he was more upright. Right now he's sitting down, he's staying down, just letting the ball come to him. Lost him, ball four. First and third now for the Tigers. Hey, download the app, play for free. Start your streak and compete to win $5.6 million. Download Beat the Streak today in the App Store or on MLB.com slash BTS. Take your walk. Take your hit batsman. Hit one of each. This inning. In a, in a double. Now, Nico Goodrum. Just about everything 70 71 72 miles an hour look at the arm motion if we can watch this from behind the plate you maybe you get a better feeling for who he jumps at you lots of motion kind of closes that front side and then 
flies at you. Arm comes right behind it. Nico one for three with a run scored. Shoots this one on the ground at Profile. They'll get the force at second base. Settle in the inning. Tigers had an insurance run though. Here comes Jimenez. Tigers baseball presented by Bell Tire. Well, Pudge Rodriguez earlier had a chance to talk with the Hall of Famer. And he compared what the Rangers are going through right now to what the Tigers are going through. It's a youth movement. It's a rebuild from a team that was very competitive not much, not very long ago. Pudge says what he likes most about this team is the fact they've got a skipper like Ron Gardenhire manning the ship and some veteran players to help these young guys along. But the biggest thing he preached was patience and to show up every day with a positive attitude and play, 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 regardless of the, of the results. And the process will work itself out, guys. Yeah, Trevin, uh, it was uh, interesting to hear that conversation you had with Pudge Rodriguez, who, of course, has been through the wars and is uh, going to the Hall of Fame in the Hall of Fame. And you got to keep playing, I guess, as he says, just go out there and play every day and see how, see how it falls out. But uh, the Tigers looking much better tonight, given they certainly did last night. They did. They re they've regrouped, but they got to finish it off here. They're down to uh, their last three outs, and Texas has six. Joe Jimenez is in now here in the eighth. He's got the top of the lineup. The Shields, Chu, and Mazzara. The Shields is leading off an inning for the fourth time tonight. Swing and a miss. Give me your thoughts on this. Pudge also told me that he didn't mind being a veteran, although he was a superstar at the time, being part of a rebuild and passing on his knowledge and being a mentor to some of the younger guys. How does that play for an older guy who's been around, wants to win near the end of his career, and is going through a rebuilding stage? Yeah, I think it works because you feel like a need to give back. You know, you. The base hit up the middle. It's good to, you've been taught by veterans on the way up, so I would say. You, know, you you want to do that and it's, it's fun to take another role because when you play this game so long you know your time's coming to an end so you want to give everything you have and not playing quite as much as and, you know when I was 38 years old it was welcome because I I mean I heard bad and uh, and Pudge he came over and he recruited some other guys to come over and Humper Dink came over they almost got her done in 2006. So here is Shin Su Chu now with the leadoff single in the eighth. Tigers lead by four. This is one of those parks where no lead is ever comfy, at least it seems no. that way. 
and just getting back to that rebuilding process, I think this is kind of the first year, you know, where Tigers have kind of taken a different direction. This will be the, the most um, difference that we'll see in this process. Some of the younger guys that they've required for Berlander, the guys, J.D. Martinez, they'll be ready to come in another year or, or longer, but uh, they'll get closer the longer we go. Wayne's side and Chu spins out of the way. So I guess what you're saying is this rebuilding process with each year kind of stabilizes itself and you get closer and closer and closer. That's the design and if you get an impact player out of the rebuild that that's you know any team's going to have to have a nucleus of players that will make whoever comes by conform to the Tiger way. Big swing there Chu goes down to a knee and then you need you know you need to hit it on an impact player Michael Fulmer could he be Cy Young Award winner. No we'd hope so you know he was the rookie of the year. And uh, you know you get here and you don't know enough and it seems like it's almost easier sometimes when you know just enough. Now the two one. Three and one on two. Just have to throw strikes you can't get yourself situations you're throwing extra pitches. Your fielders are ready to go. Let them let them feel that. Let them do their do their job. Get a ground ball right here. Swing and a miss. He hasn't been able to touch him. Three run lead. You gotta just let him hit it. Rather than walk. It's a four run lead, I'm sorry. This guy here on deck shows he's got some pop. Pulled right by Hicks down the line. Here comes the Shields motoring to third base. They're going to send him home. He'll come around to score. It's a double for Chu. And an RBI six to three ball game. Let's take a look at the sequence here now. Pretty much didn't like it all away. He threw a middle in and he ended up getting these missing these, but this one here is middle in. It hurt he stings and look at picks can barely react. It's by him very quickly. Nick gets it in as fast as he can. With the shields on there, he scoots around there quick. And the Rangers have a run. Chu with his second hit. Chris Basio comes out of the Tigers dugout. Very brief confab with Jimenez. Blaine Hardy now starting to heat up in the Detroit bullpen. Tigers have an off day Monday. The guardies, I mean, he's throwing the sink at him right now. He's got the kitchen sink. He's going to throw everybody he can. He's going to find out who can come in here and do the job. Guardy looking at the Texas side of things yeah, where the Lord. lineup stands. Wasn't he just pointing at Gallo there? It looked like it. That's probably where Blaine will come in. So here is Mazzara now. Three run game. A single and a double greeting Jimenez here in the eighth. Ball one. And McCann goes down to scoop that out of the dirt. 2 0. Joe's been behind last hitter 3 1. Went to, I believe, 3 2 to the leadoff hitter of the Shields. 2 0, not a Mazzara.
It'll chop her right side of the infield. Jimenez covers to the out and extend the runner now to third. Chu moves up. That is the first out of the inning. And now Beltre. Had a good night in his comeback from the disabled list. Beltre, two hits in RBI. Beltre will sit off speed, and you see, so you better watch it. Looks like he might have hurt something there. He was on the disabled list with a hamstring problem. Oh, with Bell trade on 37 or so. Least. You get older like that, you have a lot of injuries like strained hamstrings, obliques. You got Bell trade 38 years old. Actually, 39 now. He turned 39 on April 7th. One ball, one strike. Jimenez trying to shut things down here in the eighth. He's given up a couple of hits in a run. Wonder if he'd be trade deadline material. Pulled foul, and that almost hit Chu down the line. Here is the upcoming matchup presented by Wallside Windows. Tomorrow it's the finale. How about this? Bartolo Colon against. Francisco Liriano. I'm sure these guys are friends. Cologne. Been around a long time. He's the oldest guy in the big leagues and uh, has pretty good years in his late career. Liriano's thrown well for the Tigers this whole year. A lot of rumors about Francisco as well. There's the action of the Tigers bullpen Hardy the lefty and green is the righty. Beltre waiting on a one two. Line drive base hit right field that's his third hit of the game. It'll get another run in for the Rangers. As they continue to tighten it up it's a six to four ball game. It's going to get him. Think about it. You watch Gar you watch Gardy come out to get him. He threw it out over, and Beltre is just waiting. They did throw a couple hard inside. Falls out over the plate. Didn't try to do too much with it. Hits a bullet to right center field. The way look at he didn't pull off that at all. Just serves it right out there. It's so with Gallo, six, three. Gallo coming up. It's going to be the lefty Blaine Hardy coming in. We'll be back.
just his second appearance after being called up from Triple A Toledo where he was 3 and 0 with a 0 7 4 ERA. And now Hardy comes on to take, try and take care of Joey Gallo who swings and misses 0 and 1. Gallo does not let up. He just lets her fly. He's going for the downs right now. Trying to tie it up with one swing of the bat. Gallo ground out, strike out, pop up. Swing and a miss. Hardy stays away now 0-2. What do you think he's going to throw? Same thing. Location has been outstanding on those first two pitches. Playing to pull on the infield. Beltre, by the way, tying Tony Perez for 28th all time in the RBI category. 1,652 with his two runs driven in tonight. Stayed out there again, but Gallo would not chase. No, no reason to come inside unless you know you can get it way up and in or move his feet way down low. Hardy clearly with the. Uh, his thoughts on staying away from Gallo didn't want him to extend his arms and yank one to the seats in right field. Here's his uh, numbers in Toledo in seven games, averaging looks like uh, a little less than four innings per game, two earned runs. He's been dominating down there. He's got to be close enough to get a swing. And he got the swing, struck him out. Huge job for Blaine Hardy. Gallo goes down. We go to Shane Green here, I think. Let's take a look at our pitch by pitch. Good place slider. Looks like it's coming down the middle. Too well placed. Now he's going to waste a couple to make sure he buries him in the dirt. He's not going to let Gallo. And you know he's looking for him. And he gives him the good one again. There he goes. Hardy gets it done by striking out the lefty Gallo. Another pitching change. We'll be back. Shane Green coming out of the bullpen to try and lock down a four out save here and here are the numbers on Green. Well 15 games from one and two has six of eight saves. Struck out 18 only walked five. Green had uh, one hiccup in Kansas City but he came back the very next day and shut him out. 
Got the job done, so he's ready to go. Jerickson Profar, who homered against Mike Fires in the fifth. Tying run here with two outs in the eighth. And Profar looks at ball one. Only 229 on the year, a couple of homers. Profar shoots oh, one foul. I think they got the screen there. My goodness. Now Profar hit a home run earlier in the game that was in the fifth inning. Watch where the ball was. Ran down and out over the plate, and he just goes down and hooks this. So he's got those arms out. Go ahead and let it go. That's where he wants. He wants to stay out of that zone. It's got to be down below that. Just has that natural swing right there. You got to stay away from that. Looks like he's bailed off the plate a little bit. Connor Falefa waiting on deck. Rangers now have 10 hits. Tigers have eight. Keep it down. Right there at the club. Strike called on the outer edge. Ooh, we got the benefit of one there at 96. Ball really moving. He's got good stuff. I think Mac wants that down in the zone. Tried to trick him with the slider there. Saturday, KC. Sun, Wednesday, and that was May 1st versus Tampa. No earned runs. 5Ks, no walks. Beltre will be on the move here on 3 2. Could get uh, Green behind him for uh, John. Good healthy rip there at 94. Fouled the straight back. John Hicks, see if they don't think about putting him back. Right behind him. There he goes. You see, Hicks is behind Beltre now at first base. Fake him. Bouncing ball left side. Candelario spinning play and throws him out. Excellent. Shamer. Terrific effort. Green gets the ground ball. That'll end the inning. We'll go to the ninth. 6-4.
Tigers can add a few more runs here. It's relaxing out here. I don't know. Keats and Rod, they said they're sweating. They got sweaty palms up back in Detroit. Yeah, they're biting their nails. Here is Iglesias. He'll be followed by Machado and then Jones. Kevin Jepson, the veteran right hander, is on and out of the bullpen now for the Rangers. There's ball one to Iglesias. Take a look at Kevin Jepson. 16th game. This is his 17th game. 440 ERA. He's not walking anybody. It's whip. Although down at the bottom it says seven and seven. Did he go? Angel says no. Two and no. Jepson began his career with the Angels about seven years over in Anaheim with L.A. Closer for a while. On to Tampa, Minnesota, Tampa again. Let's take this pitch right here. Keep the pressure on the pitcher. Ball three. Iglesias had a big at bat early in this game. Two run shot to the opposite field off Mike Miner. That was in the second. Tigers built a five to nothing lead. Green one. Take another. You're going to get two more fastballs. We'll count now three and two. Well, let's take a look at the play that ended the last inning in the for the good profile right here. Good play by Candy gets his glove out, reverse spins, and the clean throw over. Profile is trying to pull his Achilles there. See how he jumped? Wow, it's not what you want to do. It's dangerous. Trying to be safe. Green works again. Iglesias, Pinchado, and Jones here in the Tigers' ninth. Iggy was also hit by a pitch in the seventh, so he's been on base twice. Jepson replacing Claudio, who allowed a run in the eighth. And he walked in. Ball four, so the leadoff man on. By the way, join us again tomorrow for some afternoon baseball. Tigers Rangers will finish up this three game series. All begins at one with Tigers Live right here on Fox Sports Detroit. Remember, if you're at work, you can't watch us on TV, make sure to watch us on your phone or mobile device. Fox Sports Go. So it's noon here. One o'clock here. One o'clock here. Back in the day, they would never let us play day games. We always had to fly out here at night, get home what, four, five, six in the morning. I think it's early enough in the year where they could get away with day games, and we'll see one tomorrow. But it's going to be toasty. Nico Goodwin is up there. Should have one day like 10:30 in the morning. You like it? Too early. Huh. Goodrum shoots a little looper to the right side. Base hit. Iglesias read it nicely. He's going to get the third. And the Tigers have something going now here in the ninth. Good read by Iglesias, like you said. Little jam shot. He's off and running. Just to take a look. He's just going to drop in. So he said, love this shot. You're going to see he's going to come around. You're going to see the trail runner. If he throws that to third, trail runner can move up. Texas does it right, though. Now the Rangers pull the infield in.
Jones a swing and a miss. Jacoby is over four in this game. Primo RBI chance now with the runner at third, runner at first, nobody out. Just a little reminder here. Can safety squeeze if he wanted to, or. Have a little different approach. Swing and a miss. Remember these? Want to read those again? Yep. Runners in scoring position situations. These are Gibby's keys. Get a good pitch. Take the middle of the diamond and you say it. Just a onesie. Yeah, you really need one run right here. <laughs> Knew you'd like that. Almost hit him. One and two on Jones. What do you think he's going to throw? Well, the old yacker. Yeah. So one of the ways you can do right here is you can look for the curve. If it's a fastball, you got to get it late. You just got to try to follow it off. But they've been getting you on the curve. But I take it away if you can. Swing and a miss. He went up top of the fastball instead. But you know what? He, he, he was on the protection mode. He beat me too. You just hope you can get a piece of this. This is an excellent pitch. You got to tip your head at it. Kind of protected against the slider. You see it's a fastball. You're trying to follow it into the stance. He got him. I, I say that was a good approach after he got two strikes. Jamer a double and a homer. Tigers have to get this run in. They lead by two. Ball one to Condelario. Glacius getting a healthy lead over there at third base. Beltray's got some tricks up his sleeve. You want to make sure you're capable and able to get back here there hooking up over here. Telestrator's not working. Candy looks at ball two. Yeah, I wouldn't even be surprised if they didn't put him on. You know, obviously they'd like a double play. Bases loaded, you have a force out so you can play a little deeper. Get the force out at any at home. Ball three. Rangers in the bottom of the ninth will have their bottom three due up. Castellanos waiting on deck. So a walk for Candelario, and that is going to load the bases. Jamer on base for the third time in the game. Jepson is uh, struggling now. As Nick stands in. So you see the lines on the back a little bit further because don't have the wheels on third base like the shields. Down the right field line, that'll head back out of play. Nick subscribing, trying not to get too much, trying to get at least one in. Many times when you try to get one hit in, just one hit, you get two. Three grand slams in his young career, 360 with base loaded career. Jepson with the 0 1. Everybody likes that slider. Just looking uh, 
we'll bring this out tomorrow. I have a list of pitches that the Tigers fail in these situations most against. What would you say number one, number two is? Well, breaking balls. Yeah, fastballs gets the most outs, and then the sliders number two. Up and in. So now it's two and one. You've got Reyes on deck. The Tigers pinch ran Reyes for Victor Martinez in the eighth inning. So I, I get I get Victor now, right? Now that nope. B Mart's out. Nope. I you get don't Reyes. get Reyes. Nope. Why not? That's how the rules go. Take it no, up the no, commission. No. I own the spot. Doesn't matter. It's not what the rules say. Pass follow in. No place to put it. Three and one. Notice when Perez sits in, it's always a fastball. Jamston is up to 20 pitches. He has retired only one batter. If he moves in, Nick should be able to feel it. Followed up three and two. Right through Jacoby. The fastball up and away. What's he going to do to Nick? Got to take the same approach. Got to get back. Got to go early here. Early here. Got to score on a long single for first base. Chop the third base. That is a foul ball. Got to be protecting up there against that slider. Nick seems to have good uh, reach on there in that outside corner. Get a piece of it. I'd like to see a grand salami right now. Castellanos on base twice, single hit by a pitch. He has scored a couple of runs. The grand salami here would uh, certainly give the Tigers a lot of breathing room. Makes you hungry just thinking about grand salami. Uh oh. Hey, there's Leonis' big fan. She's on, she's on Casty tonight. That's her guy. And the chopper slowly towards short. Profar has one play and out at first base. But the run will score. Nick will get an RBI. Big run. That was big. Was he out at first base? We'll see. Yeah, they're on the phone down there. He had to cross over the bag. And Nick ducked down. He probably would have wore it had he not ducked down. Joe Barber says negative. He got him. It's all right. We'll take the run. It's a big run. You see Nick. He has to duck. Probably would have got it right in the jaw, huh? Pretty good play there by Guzman across the back. Second and third now run in. Nick drives one in. Here's Reyes. Victor fouls it off on one. Not a whole lot of playing time this year for the rule five selection from the Arizona Diamondbacks. Got to keep him all year to keep him in the system next year. Now Jepson's 25th pitch. It'll bounce in. Tigers back up by three seven to four with the run here in the ninth. It all started with a walk to Iglesias. Then Machado flared one to right field singling him to third. Walking the ground out scores a run. One and two. Gonna have to short up now. Rangers. There you see for the bottom of the inning. Bottom three: Connor, Falefa, Guzman, and Perez. 
to face Shane Green. Bouncing ball, foul outside of the bag at third. Jepson really slowed the game down. Tigers got a couple guys on. Crowd has gotten quiet, really slowed down. Ray, Ray is a pinch runner for Martinez in the eighth. Stays the game to DH. Good bomb here. Would that be something? Here's the one-two. Up and in. It's the decisions you have to make late in ball games. You know Victor can't run, so you go for trying to score a run in the eighth, knowing that his turn may come around. Did not made it to third. But you did it was the right move. Chopper to the right side of the infield. Connor Falefa. That'll end the inning. Tigers get an insurance run, though. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Trying to close this one down. See the sequence started him off with a couple of breaking balls in, then went away with a couple of heaters. Now he's working the breaking ball away. Good swing by Profar there, and Shane Green goes there again. And a fine play by Jamer. He gets out of the inning. This is his. He had three four out saves last year, three for five. Actually, opportunities of situations with three plus outs last season. This is his first of this season. Drain goes to work, throws a strike on Kiner Falefa. 7-8-9 coming up for Texas. Tigers lead by three, trying to even up this series at one win apiece. Watch the bunt. Line drive up the middle and into center field. A rocket right by Green. Right over to the back of his back. Kid can hit a little bit. He's a good looking player. Away. See, Green just got down. He's coming right at him. Get the double play. Ronald Guzman now, the number eight hitter, is one for three. The 11th hit of the ball game now for the Rangers. You want to keep the runners as far away from the whole plate as you can, Texas. You don't want to go trying to throw out the guy, the lead guy, and let the trail guy move up a base. You want to make them have as many hits as they need. 
to score three runs or more. You can't just, you cannot aid them in any way, shape, or form. 1-1 one, one on Guzman. Sliced foul. So these kids are young and they swing it, don't they? The Arthur Hackett, Ryan Rua is waiting on deck, so he will pinch hit for the number nine hitter, the catcher Perez. One and two on Ronald Guzman. Get that double play. Nice and low in the zone. Fought it off. Right on the hands, huh? Saudi. Better check that bat. This is right off the knuckles. Tigers got a big run top of the inning on a ground out by Castiano scoring a runner from third. Got him strike three in the outside corner. Painted did Shane Green one gone barely nicked the outside corner and not showed him the slider he gave up on it. And it just makes a good frame job back there. Ryan Rua will pinch hit. Rua a couple of homers four for nine career versus the Tigers. Get a nice low strike on him. Bender drops in, strike one. Rua has hit safely in 10 of his last 13, was recalled from AAA in the end of uh, April, April the 25th, third stint with the Rangers now. Likes it here, doesn't he? Here's the 0 1. 0 and 2 now on Rua. He's not picking up Greeny very good at all. McCann heading out to the mound. Going on here with Nelson or Miller, rather. They are. They're waiting for Doug Teeter. Okay. Looking for the uh, Tigers' head athletic trainer. Well, McCann was out there, was he not? He walked out to the mound. Where's our trip meter? I have yet to locate it. Oh, and two the count. Not a trip. Swing and a miss. Rua is out of there. Two gone. Went right to work on Rua. Speaker recognized right away. He's not picking the ball up. Paint on the outside corner. Leave it up to Greeny. Got one more to get. So it's back up top now. Delino to Shields, who singled in the seventh, singled in the eighth. He has scored a couple of runs. Two out of four. And there's strike one. Yeah, that might. Looks like the Tigers are playing a little deeper. Certainly in center field. Want to cut the ball off. Got the lead. Three runs. One out to go. So you want to make them get as many hits to tie you. Oh and two. Greeny well ahead. The Shields didn't like it. 
Shane trying to get a four ounce save here. He came on to get the ground out of Profar in the eighth. Want to keep it away. Don't want to get make a mistake on a pitch that he can do something with. Still not the tying run. Kiner Falefa let it off with a single, still standing there. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and the Tigers win game two in the series. Greeny strikes out the side after the leadoff single, and the Tigers win here tonight by a score of seven to four. Now we send it to the Colzam Studios. John Keating, Tigers live post game.